Hello, welcome to episode three of the Tosser podcast, joined by Evelyn Ellis. Now you're going to hear her dogs throughout this episode. They're beautiful creatures, um, but they were jingling and they were occasionally gnawing a little bit, so be prepared for that. Today we talk about the wacky side of Evelyn, of course her maths husband Rupert, Justin Bieber, and we even brought in a fake psychic. But bear in mind this episode was filmed before all the getaway was released and the Dunkelin came out in the press, so it was news to Evelyn. All right, Toss Up Podcast, Episode 3, Evelyn Ellis. Let's do it. Toss Up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Calm down. Oh. No. 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 Oh. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the Ollie Skelton Show that everyone rates. The acronym for that is Toss Up. I'm joined by one of the biggest on maths for potentially ever. Um, depending where you read. She's also brought um, a couple of her friends along. My babies. Um, her babies. It's none other than Evelyn Ellis. Evelyn, thank you. We appreciate you. Oh, I got a Bluetooth it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well. I kind of like the awkwardness. <laughs> well, it mate. fits. It's a vibe. It fits in. It's on brand. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, you've you've... You could say that you dealt with um, that, well, at least according to the edit, you dealt with a bit of that with Rupert. Now, what I want to know, do you th- was Rupert, was Rupert, was he that, was he as awkward? To be honest, I've got my own opinion on it, but you were in the relationship with him. Was he as awkward as what was portrayed on the television? Well, I think the wedding was pretty much on par to what was shown, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But there were, like, times when I thought, like, maybe we would have, like, breakthrough. And then he would say something like, oh, I love the colour of your piss coloured dress. And then we would be back to square one again. So... You're a wacky... I I think what they don't show on the show, you've got a little wacky side to you as well. There is a wacky side to Evelyn Ellis that I feel like very... I've seen it. Yes. And I thought if, if he's saying B.O. or whatever, I thought the wacky part of you would be like, I like, I, I like this man. He's a, bit, he's a bit of an odd bod. I think it's like time and place. Rupert just, if someone held a gun to his head and said, hey, say the joke at the right time and read the room, mm. I shit you not, mm. that trigger would go boom. Mm. For example, the moment he decided to ask me if I put deodorant on, we were sharing an intimate romantic (laughs) hug. So I don't know about you, but I don't like to be told I smell when I'm in a romantic situation. Look, 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 I think um, entirely serious. I think she can attest that um, I think something that Rupert obviously uh, him and I share is there's a little foot and mouth syndrome that we've got. Um, It's like leg and mouth. (laughs) Not just the foot. It's the whole (laughs) body part. And I think... Yeah, so it's that – I feel like there's a part where it's like if there's that silence, you want to you wanna feel it and it's going to be the first thing that comes to your head, into your head, and you just say it. And I actually ordered you the Uber today um, at the wrong address. As soon as you get out of the Uber, you say you're just like Rupert. You guys are just exactly the same. Because I read the number – and I was sure that it was the right number. Put it in the thing. It's, it's nowhere near, is it? And you got two dogs. But you're very creative. Okay. <laughs> but you're very creative. <laughs> Back onto your wacky side, right? This And I want to know, and this is this is a safe space. You can say, sh- shut the hell up, Ollie. I don't want to hear this. But Say what, by the way, like say whatever you want. I love it. I Open love book. It. Okay. So Rupert said to me when he, you guys were on, your home visits. Yes. He said that you did a really good golem impersonation. Fuck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now I want to I, I it, now let the record state it was open book anything. My precious. Oh my god. <laughs> my precious. Oh. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's fucking beautiful. I usually better when I'm not caught off guard, no, no, but I also was... do a very good Mr. Bean and grudge. No, that was that was very good. Thank and you. Speaking of impressions, did you see mine the other day on um, We've Done the Maths? 
Yeah, I love it. It, it, it got a bit of, like people were saying it wasn't anything like you. Um, I Because I felt the pressure in that moment because they did the same thing that I've done to you. They were like, impression, go. I think they turn everyone into a character yeah. in a sense. Yeah. Like, you know, they would never show my quirky side because it, it would be too confusing for people to mm. try and understand. Mm. So, wait, what was the question again? I don't really know. Um, but I want to say this. I lo- I do love that about you um, in that beautiful girl. And a Thank lot, you. you. You find a lot of beautiful girls in the world don't have the 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 gula. What's the Italian word for it? The gul, the gul. Shajaz. Shajaz. Wait, I still haven't got this right. Pizzazz. The, you've Pizzazz. been calling it shajaz. Shajaz. <laughs> there was a time for about... 11 years of my life, I thought bless you was bless you. Yeah. So I thought when you sneeze, you said bless you. You know the song? Hey, yep. uh, I thought it was I'm in danger. There is no way I you did. thought And the name hey, of the uh, song is, I'm pretty sure, called Hey uh. And you thought it was I'm in danger. danger. It doesn't even make sense. Oh, bring them to friends of the show, Pickles and Mustard, um... So when did you get these dogs, by the way? I gave birth to them. Damn. They came out of my womb. Love it. Love it. And that was how many years ago? So I conceived Pickles in London mm-hmm. six years ago. Mm. He's actually Welsh. Wow. And you actually brought them over? Well, I brought him over. Uh, it cost me a lot of money. Right. And I was in no means to afford to bring a dog over from London at the time. But yeah. what do you do? Hustle. You can't leave your child. I feel that. You know, and then I felt bad because he had to quarantine for two weeks in Melbourne. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get you a wife. In and then I got him the supermodels, the supermodel of Dash Hounds. I see it. I see it. So I she's thought, all beauty, her. I thought they, they were... Um, They're not brothers and sisters. Wow. They're husband and wife. So that's a, that's a misconception. Yeah. How dare you assume the relationship of my dogs? Uh, that's on me. <laughs> and to be honest, if you look at them, they're actually very different main... Um, yeah, he's a gum tree coat. version yeah, and coat. he's That's like the p- pedigree yeah. $5,000 version. Beautiful dogs. Thank Beautiful you. Dogs. Do I look like my dogs? Well, they say owners look. No, I would say. Come here, Pika. Show them. Show them how pretty you are. I guess there's a little bit there. They say you do look like your dogs, right? He's got my eyes. Yeah. No, I can yeah. see that. I can actually see that. Mm. You've been living a crazy life. In this post maths maths world, I see you everywhere. Do you? Have kinda. I? Well, is kinda. it me? It's just you're a. You were. You came at for such a short period of time. It was such a short burst, and you bloody stole the show in some facets. You really did steal the show. I love that. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> so that that I just remember. So this is how I felt on the show at times, right? The big moments, Evelyn's just there, and it was, I was like, she's. And then, and then, in hindsight, I think about it. Was there? And we can cut this if we want to. If you no, if you don't want cut to. anything. Oh. Ask me. All right. I really was, I was open book. That moment with Cam and Lindell, where you've gone, Cam, you're such an asshole. What is the percentage of you? Because I remember in that moment, um, going, oh wow. Give it a rest, love. No, no, no. no. (laughs) I was like, good on bloody Evelyn for bloody standing up for linens. I didn't know that they were that close. That was my genuine... I was like, oh, hell yeah. What part of it, what percentage was... This is a moment and I'm going to... Because you were always... Just say it. You were always doing what was right and that's, that's good character. But the... My question is, what was the percentage of this is me doing what I believe to be right? And Are you asking me if I did it for airtime? Is is that what you're trying no, to ask I'm, me? I, no, I'm asking you the percentage. Okay. So it, I guess so in a roundabout, I guess in a software, was for yeah. airtime? <laughs> is that- well, no, what's, what's, you, okay, was, was it 100% this is a moment or was, was it 50% I saw, I, I was annoyed by this, but I also saw the moment. Okay, so for me, I feel like the percentage was 50% of it was I honestly 
wasn't the biggest fan of Cam mm-hmm. since the first day I came. Like I could, you know, I saw the way he moved with like production and with other people. I, I felt like he was a bit out of touch with reality and I felt like he wasn't very empathetic and I felt like he couldn't read other people's emotions or right. room properly. So like I, I already had my guard up with him and the other 50% was imagine you're on a night out, there's a group of girls and one of the girls in the group have been strung along through a number of weeks mm-hmm. and they're, they're bawling their eyes out. Yeah. Like for me, I just automatically get defensive and protective. Maybe sometimes I jump and then think later. Mm-hmm. So it was like a jump and think later. And I think the think later moment was like I walked in halfway through the room and I was like, oh, this is a bit hectic. And I like kind of retreated. I was like, eh, 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 eh. No, I, 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 watched it, I watched it back today. And you've got this smirk as you're walking in. There's this slight smirk and you can, you know, they got Alyssa going, oh, God, here she goes. Here she, here she goes. And you've got this slight smirk. But you're saying they're 0% for the airtime. That's what you're saying. No, me? <laughs> never. Let I would the, never do such thing. Let the record state 0%. Yeah, but I think it's um, – I always found in those big moments um, I thought you were saying the right thing and – it came off to be true to you, but it wasn't until I finished the show that I was like, I feel like she was aware of the framing. Mm-hmm. Does you obviously came from Big Brother. What what did you find were the differences and what were the similarities between the two? Um, to answer your question before this question, mm. I love reality TV. Mm. I I'm a hey you bravo fanatic. I I enjoy it. It makes me giggle. There's like there's a artistic value to reality TV that yeah, I, I see agree. and I really enjoy it. Big Brother. Big Brother is a whole different concept in itself. When I did Big Brother, this was like when Love Island was like kind of starting to peak. This was in the UK. And there's something so interesting about putting 20 people, 20 extroverts who are slightly unhinged (laughs) in a house and putting cameras everywhere and plying them with alcohol and seeing what happens. But there is no guidance of production whatsoever. You don't know what on earth is going on. You only get questions when you go into the diary room and you sit down on that God forbidden chair and Big Brother talks to you and you're talking into a barrel. But when you're talking into a barrel, you're talking into the audience. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Big Brother is the audience. Yeah. So there's that connect where the audience are kind of asking you the questions. But yeah. in in regards to maths, you have no idea what the hell is going on yeah. either. But you can kind of see like yeah. where storylines are leading from the questions you get asked in your voxies. And the thing is, everyone talks on maths. So yeah. like one little whisper goes down the hall at the speed of light. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah, you're so right. It's um and it was at times yeah, I think well that kind of leads into that whole um butt gate situation which um was really funny, right? Because first of all, I thought it was hilarious how people didn't believe it to happen. And I think we know that there was an element of 50% of it happened and 50% of it was, well, you said it, but Rupert said it in passing after, so I'm going to lump them together. Are we on that? Are we agreeing on that? Or, Wait, what? Okay, so the Hugo, when Hugo said what he said, that was recorded on the butt dial, but the Dan stuff. And by the so way, I'm not, a da- I'm not a Dan plant. You know, I'm, you know. You As he stands behind the plants. <laughs> 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 no, but um, the irony. No, but um, are, are we are we stating that as the record, or are we? Um, look, I do not deny or confirm these allegations, mm. but what I will say is, yes, I did hear a majority of. I know you like your percentages, but look, <laughs> I did hear a majority of the conversation, and Rupert did come and tell me a lot of part of the conversation. Yeah. Also, 
which I have said a million times. So I don't know why everyone's still like, but Dahl did not happen. Yeah, I didn't even want to. I, look, I didn't even want to talk about it, but it's just funny. And you, but you did. And when you said the whispers go through the hall, down the hallway, I was like, the butt gate. I feel like all the other whispers, I was very late to in that house. I was very late to. Like the Adam Janelle thing, I, I, apparently everybody knew. Uh, they got me reacting to it on camera. And we got, and we know that that means that if production knew about it, I was one of the last to know. <laughs> Did you see when Harrison reacted to it, how he's smiling the whole time? Yeah. Good old Harrison. Good old Harrison. I, I think he enjoyed a lot of it. Yeah, and I say this, like I, 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 I always say this about Harrison in a way that um, I think he's a very smart dude. I think he's Sorry, Harrison, if you're watching this, you're not – I would not put him as intelligent. Well, I, 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 I think it comes – I've had conversations with him where I've been like, smart cookie. But then I also think – Wait, I, is this the same Harrison in season 10 of Married at First Sight? Well, maybe post-life aftermaths. Maybe it was an act. But then – so I've seen mm. Harrison – I also think – he can be funny at times. I think there's a dry. I do. There's a dryness to his humor. Yeah, I do think Harrison. He does make me giggle and and at him. Like there was a couple. Yeah, there was a couple parts of the show. But the, the here's the kicker, right? Uh, okay, I think got something guys. To say. Yeah, come on. All right. Okay. That's what we think about that. Yeah. So, <laughs> but there's. But would you agree? It, I, oh. I just think I just think the man, the man doesn't have uh, a, a lot of humility, and I think that's. <laughs> all right. I think he could have been very likable. I want to say thirty percent humility. Humility. A hundred percent. I think the scene when. I love the percentages. <laughs> A hundred percent. So just a heads up before you watch this part, um, Evelyn has no idea that we are getting a fake psychic. We want her to think it's a real psychic. Um, it's actually a lovely name. It's actually a lovely woman named Trishy off Star Now. Um, so shout out to Trishy. Um, so yeah, she's got no idea about what's what's about to happen. And um, yeah, enjoy it. Wow, okay, so what we have, we have a special guest. We have a psychic here for you, Evelyn. <gasps> it's a psychic. Trishy, hello, Trishy. <laughs> Wait, no, is this really a psychic? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. yes! Yeah, we got a psychic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she wasn't, but I, I'm glad that I'm the one that you remember and not anybody else. Um, but yeah. You don't really recognize her? They're together Not on maps. Really, and you don't really recognise. Yeah. yeah, that's. Well, remember that. Where maybe I was the star of the show. I, don't know. I think you were. Okay, Trishy, this yeah. is your. I can, I can remember you now. Okay, wait. How about now? <laughs> Harrison, Harrison, look at my. Is it coming to you? Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. No, God, you won her over already. <laughs> Yeah, Trishy. So Trishy is a psychic um, from Bondi, old family friend of Tani's. And um, so we've got some questions for her. Um, oh, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Trishy, that's you with the crystal ball. <laughs> Can we leave all of this in? Yeah, yeah, we do. We <laughs> yeah, like Wait, it's going to go on again. Oh. Are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of you. Thanks. Is it? A <laughs> no, I am. I love the concept, okay. and I love that you. What is the concept? No, the concept is you. It's like groovy, like, like where's my car, bro? Like that '70s vibes, but like chaotic. Uh, have you seen um the bush in between the ferns no. on YouTube? Oh, um, Zach Galifianakis. Yeah, it's giving like Zach Galifianakis vibes. You know what? I should I should ask Bill to come and have a look at a real face. Y yeah. He just dropped me, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, yeah. I, okay. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. We're a team, bro. We only got one mic. All right, budget. 
Hello, budget. Yeah. Okay. Is this actually what you see? You see that big fern in my yeah. face? Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I can yeah. see you perfectly. Yeah. It's actually yeah. perfect. Um, <laughs> how, many, how many followers do you see Evelyn getting in the future? Two, two to five thousand, maybe. Hundred? Thousand. You have to get there, young lady. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what okay. the fuck okay. is okay. going on? Okay, all right, on? okay, wait, wait, wait. Last, <laughs> last one, last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. What, what does Evelyn's future look like? What maybe, what's her next TV show? I I see her in Getaway. Did you guys get an actor from Star Now? <laughs> <laughs> you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got a. <laughs> you actually got an actor from Star Now, didn't you? It's Trishy from Star Now. And she did an amazing job, by the way. I've never done acting before, okay? No. <laughs> it's my first attempt. No. True. Yes. I, I only do TV commercials. Dude, you were so I, good. I have never done acting. I'm it. so sorry you had to come here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's so good. Well, it's <laughs> a first attempt, away, you know? Me. That's my first attempt. <laughs> Nailed it. One take. Trishy, that Are was done? amazing. Uh, that was good. You're only, done. Only five minutes, see? Yeah. Five and ten. You were, you were great, Trishy. Oh, and you. you had her. You had a fool. Yeah, I, I yeah. I honestly, uh, I do, I do like. Your, I think her partner is Duncan, wasn't it? Duncan, in the map, <laughs> maybe. No, no, no. I mean, the, she's being map. serious there. She's being I serious. don't know what's real anymore. Because <laughs> that seemed like she was making <laughs> it. <laughs> that was a genuine question. Oh, I think yeah, she did. Trishy, give us a hug. Thank you so much. For doing that. Thank you. Oh, great. You guessed it so good, Evie. <laughs> Is that a fake actor <laughs> yeah. from Star Now, she says. <laughs> mm, that's too good. Dosa. I want to talk about Maxim, bro. Sure. Maxim. Dude, what a photo, man. Thank you, Ollie. What a photo, dude. Thank you. What was the, what was the process there? Well, I wanted to do a cover of a magazine at some point in my life. It was like kind of like a little little stepping stone goal of mine mm. and they reached out and I said, fuck yeah, let's do it. Maximum, is, that's like that's like the old Zoo Weekly? It's essentially- Or the a, new Zoo Weekly. It's essentially a lad's mag, yep. but you know, you got to take your small wins, Ollie. You got to take your small wins. What, bro, what are you talking about a small win? That is a massive win. No, I, I'm no hate to Maxim, but- if I said, would my dream mag be a lad's mag? Probably not. What is your dream mag? I mean, I obviously I would say Vogue. Right. Is it unobtainable? Mm, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I'd love to do like Marie Claire or Stella mm. or something girly, mm. fashion based. But yeah, it, that, that is a bit aggressive. I mean, that's one way to say it. Um, how much oil are they putting on you there? Um, so I don't know how much oil they put on me there, but what I can tell you, you see that wet hair look? Yeah, I love – you did that very late on the show. I thought it was a really cool look. That's lube. No. Lube. No, that's actually lube. And when you had your hair, the wet look before, was it lube? Lube also. So my hairstylist, he uses lube to get the wet look. Wow. Yeah, fun what fact. What type of lube? Is there a specific type of lube? Um, it was the one in the... It's not Durex. <laughs> um, I'll have to ask him, but he has are we tubes talking, and tubes and tubes and tubes of it. Are we talking water-based? Are we talking oil? Water-based. Water-based, water-based lube. lube gets you that wet hair look. Wow. Unbelievable. Does it? So a game of Smash or Pass, we've got lots of options here. Smash oh, or, fuck you. Smash or Pass, <laughs> this one coming up here. So you got to choose one or the other. 
Okay, this is really hard. I got to think about this. It's actually the same. same show. Oh, oh, Justin Bieber. What happened there? Is that like is it is your NDA holding you back from what really happened? I didn't there? actually sign an NDA. I just told a little porky so I didn't have to tell the whole story in front of all of Australia and on Carl and Jackio. That's a that's a that's a good move. So I'm saving the story for my I podcast. Know, I know, Hello. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I know <laughs> Come I know. on. What do you think people's assumptions of you are? Well, I think people's assumptions of me, like, is I'm this, like, wild, up myself bitch that, you know, is so sexually curious and mm. flaccid and I don't know the not nice way to say me? that what I'm trying to say, but I'm sure people know. Um, but I'm actually quite shy when it comes to that stuff. I, I think I, from what you just said, then I don't share knowing you, I don't share any of those opinions of you. And I think also your time on the show, people seeing you the way that they are, they didn't see any of that either. I see yeah. a person, um, that is you, uh, to me, I think you're in, you're in a space and you know, the, like appearance is such a massive thing, but you could have this, this ego and you could be this, this certain way, but I actually feel like you aren't. And I think, um, the interactions, the, the interactions that majority of the people that had with you on the show, uh, there's a real humility about you. And, um, yeah, so I think that's kick ass get away. You said that to, to me in passing once. Okay, I think we're making it bigger than it is. No, I know. It's it's a little little I, something gig. Yeah. I don't know what's. It's a little. It's a little tiny gig. Yeah, I know. Oh, just Let's that, not celebrate it yet. That, wait, what are you saying? As in, like, it could just be a one-off thing. Are we talking about getaway? Yeah. You're doing something with getaway. Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing like a couple stories. Like I'm pre like presenting a little. Wait, what? What is going on right bro, now? Bro, I had a conversation with you and all you said to me was, I would love to do something like Getaway. No, I am doing something like Getaway. You said I would love. No, I said I am. <laughs> so what are you doing? She manifested so, it. Um, Ollie doesn't do his homework. That's, we can bro, clarify bro, that. Bro, you said to me, I would love, it's maybe you were planting the seed no, to I me. No, I would love to be an entertainment presenter. For something like Getaway? No, I said I am doing Getaway. Well, congratulations, dude. That's Wait, let's sick. not celebrate it yet. Oh, okay. We don't know what it is. Can you kind of discuss it a little bit more? What's the, what's the, what happened there? What, like, what's, what are you doing? So is it a story, like a story on Instagram or is it a story you're, you're doing a piece? I'm doing a piece. <laughs> A little tiny piece. That um, is so gnarly. I'm talking to the producers right now in regards to what I like to do in Sydney. Um, I've pitched Vivid and we might do Capella Hotels and like do a little run through the spa days and check out the rooms and I need to get my presenter voice right. No, I hate <laughs> presenter voices and I think they need to go. I don't understand it. Why? Why do people have to talk like that? And then they nod. Yeah. When you're Why does there have to be uh, inflection downwards every time? I Why do we... Why? It's I to make up for the natural Aussie. Hey, God. Wow, Tommy, you're uh, Irish. <laughs> what was the hardest part in the show for you? Um, what did you struggle with the most that you weren't expecting that you would struggle with? I actually had like a major breakdown after my wedding. Right. Because I went, oh, fuck, this is going to be harder than I thought. Shout out, Rupert. <laughs> you really thought this dude was just... Honestly, yes, me and Rupert had some amazing times. We've shared some special moments. I will consider him a lifelong friend. Mm. Um, I was not expecting our wedding to be that awkward and, like, <laughs> to struggle to even get a conversation out of him. Like, I, f I, there was a side of me that maybe thought that I could meet someone that could potentially be the love of my life. Yep. Maybe that's the daydreamer in me. I don't know. So when I quickly realised that was not the case, I kind of had like a mini a mini breakdown because I was like, how the hell am I going to do this experiment and try to get to know someone when I'm talking to a brick wall? 
Yeah. So that was, but thank God we picked up. Mm. Things picked up and we really got to know each other and he let his guard down and yeah, held I, each he held each other's hands through the thing and mm. we made the most of it and had a blast. I think you guys are also a testament of how to break up and although you weren't actually together, you were in a way. And I don't consider um, your married at first sight partner an ex. No, I, yeah. Um, mm, I guess I don't know because I feel like I you was... You guys don't know because you guys are the poster shot post to children of we'll a run in a different race right experiment but by your pace love at first sight and full speed ahead <laughs> no but i think uh, i i i don't know i don't know how i would feel in the aftermath but you saw it around us and the emotion involved oh. with just at that final dinner party when you know there was talk of all the girls wanting to sit on one side with all the boys on the other side and personally i think that's a little bit juvenile i yeah i said it yeah, Quoting. I mean, and then I've I had worse things come out of my mouth. Right. But what I loved was you and Rupert were just like, we're sitting next to each other. I ended up saying saying that compliment to Rupert and he said it was the last chair left. But the principal... See, this is what I mean. You feed him a bit and he just doesn't bite ever. <laughs> that was me through the duration of the experiment. I would feed him bits and he would drop the ball Every damn time. My thing is, I reckon you had. I reckon you liked him a little bit near the end. Yeah, I adore Rupert. No, I reckon you liked him. Yeah, I did like him. Mm. Did you like him in more than a friend for near the end? Would you say? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I did, and I think I try to express that to him. But Rupert gonna Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> you're very funny. Like, you're very funny. We're gonna end this with um, we're gonna end this with a little game. It's a quiz. I love games. We're gonna play a little game. Uh, uh, uh. Do you know what show this is from? Uh, countdown. No, Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Um, okay, so the game is first question wrong. <laughs> first question wrong. No, um, the the game is. All right, these are easy questions, right? Make them hard, no, bitch. No, 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 no. It's it, my 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 angle is you're out here saving these people's lives within the show. I want to know if you. I want to know if you truly know these people. Let's play the game, baby. All right, baby. let's play the game. Let's Question go. number one. And so these are they're easy. Okay, hurry up. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Lindell, Lindell. What is her last name? Grace. <laughs> okay, good. You got it. You got it. All right. Okay. The man you were on the experiment with for three months. <laughs> <laughs> what is Rupert's mother's name? Now I want to preface it that I asked him what's Evelyn's mum's name yesterday, he said of Von. Rupert's mother's. Can I phone a friend? Yeah, you can phone him if you want. <laughs> this will be funny. Ding, 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 you got the king. <laughs> hey, Rupert. Yeah, what's going on? Nothing. I'm just leaving the podcast now. Oh, so annoying. They asked me what your mum's name was and I didn't get it. It was so annoying. Oh, I didn't even have a guess. I told you that freaking every day. <laughs> Rosie. Thank you very Rosie. much. Rosie. <laughs> Rosie there is correct. That is brilliant. And we're just going to cut all that, but you just ace the rosy part. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next one. Very pivotal moment was Sandy when you told her about the butt gate. What does Sandy do for a job? She's a dental hygienist. Boom. Correct. Not to be confused as a dentist. Wow. See? Okay. You, you're Keep coming up coming. here. All right. All right. Go, 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 go. Janelle, 
How many? Five hundred and fifty thousand. <laughs> Her net worth. That's right. <laughs> How many <laughs> brothers does Janelle have? Two. These are too easy. Because okay. I listen. All right. I chat a lot of uh, shit, yeah, uh, but I listen. All right, yeah. Yeah. Mm. 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 What about? Okay, you know, sidebar question. How many siblings do I have and what are they? I know you have one sister, mm. but I don't know if there's a third. I feel like I'm going to go with two sisters. That's right as well. That's right as yeah. well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. My turn, bitch. Oh, yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. Okay. What does Harrison Boone do for a living? Builder, but he's not really. He's just a chippy. Thank you. Um, which team does Duncan go for? Give me a sport. Rugby. Okay. See, I'm, I'm new to the East Coast, so I don't even know half the teams, but um, uh, he's, he's a big fan of the Panthers. Wrong. What is it? The Manly Eagles. He's got a massive eagle tat. Sea Eagles. Sea Eagles. The sea Eagles. Okay, next uh, question. Um, when is two. Rupert's birthday? Oh, that's a good one. Do you know it? Yeah, I do. Didn't know his mum. Um, it is June. Okay, you're getting up the notes, eh? You're going on his Facebook. No, June what? It is June. It's June the 25th. That is correct. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's fucking hard, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Um, okay, what's Duncan's last name? Duncan, middle name, James, surname, Simpson. Oh, how do you know that? Simpson. Wow, we well, seem to know a lot about him, yeah. man. Yeah, we're banging. Whoa! No, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I make a joke. You make I make the accent a joke. Again, you do. Oh. The cultural props, man. Um, can we not put that part in? That's a good one. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know what? That's all I had. But I think you did bloody good. Thank you. Did you. Be- I, I, I undersold you. And I, I want to say thank you so much for coming on. Um, thank you for bringing the dogs as well. Um, I had a lot of fun. I, I, did you, can you just put it closer to you so you, can, you don't have that in the background? Um, no, I had, I had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? I did. Yeah. I'm feeling very good about your podcast. Thanks. I love the concept. Yep. I love the effort you've put in. Right. And now I feel like you just need to smash them out and get them out. Okay. Don't take your time and right. hit while the iron's hot. Yeah. And a shout out um, to Tommy from A1 Connect. He did all this. So if you want your podcast looking like this, go to him. Can I say from someone who's been on quite a few sets? Yeah. Pretty good set. And he knows what he's doing. It's all A1 Connect. So big shout out to them. Um, if you want to join in on the conversation, YouTube, Toss a Pod, Spotify, Toss a Podcast, and answer questions. If you want to put in a question, I'm at tosser.com. We'll see you next week. Evelyn, if you could just wave to the camera. I just realised this podcast is called Toss a Pod. <laughs> <laughs> Toss a-